Hashtag hamburgers. Some good old eighties punk rock for you all. Cool beans. And if you don't listen to the Dead Milkmen, shame on you. That's what I was listening to in 1984. Moshing with the Mohawk across the street from Wrigley Field in Chicago. So check it out. Bloxy asked us a few times this year to check out War Sword Conquest, so here we are. Warhammer Fantasy-based modification for Mountain Blade Warband. Looks good. We shall see. I've never, ever, 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 ever... As you guys know, when I do a first look, I've never seen this before. This is the very first time. This is the very first time that I've ever loaded this up. I've never looked at this before. I haven't even looked at videos of this. I saw a couple of screenshots on ModDB, and that's it. Bloxy said download it and try it and if you guys have tuned into my first looks before like for banner page or Parisno, any of the warband mods you guys know that I really have not I do not know what to expect I don't know the options in the camp menu I don't know what to expect at all for all I know we're going to be in spaceships I don't know what this is about and so Block said, yeah, War Sword Conquest, this is like based on another game that I've never played. So, where's our options sitting at? Cool. Super fast, super smooth, super good. I wonder if I could just crank the graphics up. So that must be a helmet. Looks like a really cool red bowling ball. Looks like the nut cup of my dreams. Did he just say nut cup? Cup fulls of nuts, boy, I'm starving. Love the artwork. Kick ass, look at this. Bitchin'. I can see why Bloxy likes this. This is right up Bloxy Cat's alley. Shout outs to Bloxy. Bloxy hangs out on the um, our Shield Wall Twitch channel and Discord often this year. Yeah, I love this artwork. Launching the game. Hint number eight, there are no hints. Welcome adventurer to War Sword Conquest. Before you can start playing the game, you must create a character just like in the good old days of Dungeons and Dragons. All right, Chaos, Beast Man, Saurus, Orc, Night Goblin, Chaos Dwarf, Elf, Skeleton, Dwarf, Skaven, Halfling, Skink, Vampira. I don't know. There's no giants. I don't know what these other races are. It doesn't say giant, so, huh. So we're playing a dwarf in one game and an elf in another game and humans in most games. I don't know what chaos, saurus, beast man, female human, male human, I don't wanna play boring humans. I play a boring human every day. Night goblin. Goblins, baby. Skaven. What's a Skaven? Skink. I have no idea. Should we go look? Night Goblin. I don't want to play Chaos. I like to play good characters. I like to play good heroes. I don't sit right with playing evil bad characters doesn't sit right with me I don't know what a skaven or a skink is let's find out
Skaven, sometimes known as the Ratmen, the Ratkin, or the Children of the Horned Rat, are a malevolent and diabolical race of large humanoid rats. Boy, that sounds cool. What's a skink? Well, a skink is a lizard. Huh. Elf, skeleton, dwarf, skink. A skink is a lizard, so I'm assuming that that's like a, uh, a lizard man. It is. Boy, those look cool. Check them out. Skinks, lizards. The skinks form one of the core species of the lizard men race created by the old ones to be the workers artisans and crafters of their society skinks are highly organized and sociable beings that instinctively work well in groups even being able to coerce other cold-blooded creatures into doing their bidding so rats or lizards interesting Did you guys have a good day? Tell me you had a good day. I had an okay day. I get lonely here by myself. Which is the reason that I first came on to Twitch. COVID-19 kept us locked in the house even more. So where were we? And if you're just tuning in for the first time, my name's Daryl. My parents named me Warlord. They had high hopes. I achieved my goals. And I have multiple sclerosis, so if I space, that's why. But thanks for tuning in if you do, now or later. I don't know, guys. The Beast Man. I'm thinking Beast Man, guys. I love the woods. I'm the Beast Man. We, I will, let's try Beast Man. Goblin sounds really bitchin'. Goblin sounds cool, but I don't want to play an evil character. A bad character that just sounds... Night Goblin. I think goblins are cool. Not all goblins are bad. So let's try Beast Man. You were born years ago in one of the great forests of the old world. Your father was... A shaman. A warlord. Yes. That works. Oh, this race was calling. I like the texture edges. Texture's got to be good, and these textures are good so far. They look a lot better than uh, a lot of the marketing images. The marketing images for this mod should be indicative of the quality of the graphics in the mod, which are very nice so far. These look. I love this. This looks great, the whole edge. The texture on the tapestry looks so good. Nurgle, which god do you worship? I don't know anything about these gods. Corn, dude, Nurgle. Just Nurgle just sounds good. So let's try Nurgle. Let's should we look Nurgle up? Let's look up Nurgle. Nurgle was the first one that struck my fancy. So Nurgle, Nurgle. Nurgle, also known as the Plague Lord or the Plague God, is the God, chaos god of disease, decay, despair, death, and destruction. That doesn't sound like our kind of god. So who else we got? Who else we got? What god's next? Uh, Corn. I grew up on the stuff. Corn, also called the Blood God and the Lord of Skulls, is the Chaos God of Blood, War, and Murder. Wow. 
These gods aren't racking up money points with us, huh? Slanish. Slanesh. Slanesh. I need to turn that music down. It's too loud. That's a little epic. It's a little epic for my taste. Slanesh is the Lord of Pleasure, the dark god dedicated to the pursuit of earthly gratification and the overthrow of all decent behavior as well as hedonism. Now you're talking my language. Who's next? Zinch. 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 Zinch, the changer of ways, is the god of sorcery, knowledge, scheming, mutation, and change. Interesting. So, we'll go for uh, the god of earthly pleasures. That sounds good. Slanish. Your vision of life is one of hedonism and excess. You share the pleasures of Slanesh and live a life of raping, pillaging, and enslaving. No, we'll start over. Holy shit. Yeah, we don't want to do that. <laughs> That's the... Oh, I guess it didn't like that. I hope that doesn't... Uh, yeah, menu, menu, start, zero, item, MNO, line number 34. zippity doo da beast man. Let's do the beast man. And so our father was a warlord and we will fuck it. Nurgle. Nurgle and Corn. Dude, those sound like punk rock band names of the day. So Zinch it is. Huh, weird. I just like Nurgle. But gosh, they're all evil. Isn't there any good gods? Zinch. Your whole life you have lived by the idea that if you want something, you take it. I have a great ambition and belief that your destiny is to rise to the top of the herd and lead the great armies to ultimate victory over the lands of men, elves, and dwarves. With your power and the power of your god, Zinch, it is only a matter of time before the whole world falls into ruins before you. Wow, pretty cool. I like the font, too. The font's nice. It's fat. It's easily readable for us blind people. Pestilent Flatulence. Undefeated Headbutt Champion. Drinking the blood of an entire Empire Patrol. I love this is interesting. Thanks for the suggestion, Box. I'm enjoying this already. Your raiding party was ambushed by a patrol near the Empire Bretonia border, but the tide of battle turned very quickly, and soon the entire regiment was killed. So enraged by the attack, you drunk every body dry of blood and hung their bodies on trees for all to see. But soon everything changed and you decided to strike out on your own after drinking all that blood. Well, Thanks for the drink, chaps. See you later. What made you take this decision was, I was all thirsted out. Lust for money and power. A blood oath. Yes, blood oath. Rock and roll. Only you know exactly what caused you to give up your old life and become an, a, become an avid adventurer and blood drinker. You never thought you would be a bold and aggressive leader, but the murder of your brother on your doorstep, killed by a drunken noble for being from an insignificant family, changed your life forever. And we burned his hall to the ground after we nailed the doors shut. As he lie in your arms, he made you swear to make something of the family name and avenge him by drinking the blood of his enemies and bathing in the blood of your enemies so that everyone will know your name and fear that you will also drink their blood. You swore a blood oath and rode hard and fast for the old world. Awesome. 
cool beans. So realistic no quitting, why? Because I'm a space case. I'm not just your average space cadet. I was promoted to space commander when I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. But I'm still smarter than the average bear and I'm still in here. It's just hard to get it out. And that my friends is your multiple sclerosis awareness message of the day. Larn, who was Larn? Comment below, who was Larn? That's some animation history trivia for you from the days when I was a kid. So rock and roll, check it out. What's this up here? The Constitution, the Iron Flesh Constitution and Iron Flesh, kind of the same thing. So I don't know anything about this, if it has Freelancer or what, but let's get our combat skills up. We're gonna, oh, okay, one there. 12, let's get that strength up, the agility. Power throw, power draw, weapon master three, shield. Mana, I don't know what mana is. The higher your mana control, the more mana you can hold at one time and the faster you will regenerate mana. At level four, you can boost your mana and pay a percentage increase in mana cost to bypass encumbrance modifiers for that cast. I guess it's spell casting, so we'll have to learn more. At level eight, these percentages are lowered. Interesting. Magic power. Yes. Maybe we'll go back and play a mage. Play a mage. I was going to play Larn. So this will be cool. Magic power, magic control. I don't know anything about it, so I'm not going to use it yet. Tactics, we got a one. We got a two in prisoner management, three in leadership. Interesting. But let's get our combat skills up, man. We need that power strike, the iron flush, shield, athletics. Um, I don't know. It looks like we're high on the pole arms. We're going to be using a lot of one-handed weapons, so I need to start working on that. Because I usually use one-handed. One-handed, two-handed spear. That's my gig. One-handed, two-handed spear. That's what Warlord likes to fight with. Larn. How about Warlarn? <laughs> right on. Warlord Larn. So done. Cool. All right, look at him. He is freaking awesome. Holy shit, look at this. Oh, he is cool. We made a goat decision. We made a goat decision. We made a goat decision. Look at this. Oh man, we are gonna have fucking fun with this. Holy hell. Kick ass. All right. Hair color, I guess it doesn't matter. Our age, let's stay young. So we got some skin choices, do we? That's interesting. Doesn't look like it changes a thing. Hair doesn't change a thing. So that doesn't matter. So that's kick ass. How about a big schnoz? Did it? It doesn't modify nothing. It doesn't matter. Yep, doesn't matter. Cool, cool, cool. You live in the old world, lands torn between rival kingdoms and races battling each other for supremacy. A haven for knights and mercenaries, and we're going to eat their skulls and drink from their skulls. And mercenaries, cutthroats, and adventurers, all willing to risk their lives in pursuit of fortune, power, and glory. I have to watch my energy level. The Empire, Altdorf. Orc Kingdom, Tomb King's Empire, High Elves, Bretonia, 
the realm of chaos the beast man domain yes Drakenhof, a town in Sylvania vampires the beast man domain the Skaven underworld wow we're gonna have fun with this huh this had a very high rating on mod DB as well a block suggested it a few times so let's check it out let's go home let's start out in our beast man domain are we gonna get mugged are we gonna get our mugging mugging of the day I think it's Monday I don't know it's either Monty's dog or it's tears day I don't know what day it is it's beast man day excellent day look at this beast man day awesome check it out guys if you guys have already played this you've already enjoyed this we'll have to put a runic font in here huh yeah we've got a cool font we could put in this we could put a rune font in here nice textures well done well done mod devs Let's see. Oh, Larn looks good, Larn. All right. Yes. Kick ass, guys. Look at this. Beast Lord Grimhorn. Oh, look at these guys. Gruntox. Brazold. Bacal. Rakarth. Morgurder. Look at this. Oh, we're going to have fun with this. Big Boss. Gorbad Ironclaw. Check them out. Oh, these guys look awesome. Look at this. I've never, ever seen this, guys. I've never, ever, ever seen this before. Mother Crusher, look at that. Clobberbottom. Dude, I'm changing my name to Clobberbottom Fredknacker. Yep. Badass, you guys. This is cool. Boyar. Boyar Rayak. So, wow. Trippy. So, you still have some... Uh, Variations of Warband. Well done. The uh, the old pole armor looks good. Burn Ball. Oh, look at him. What a trippy world. Crone Hellebron, High Priestess of Cain. Oh, look at her. Badass, man. She is awesome. Look at this. Drakara, Dra, Draraka, Brass Tooth. Yes. Duke Chessiana Paravon. Look at him. Awesome. Hell yeah, that helmet's bitchin'. Emir Dashval, I remember you in Ganawa, your cousin Hawan. These guys look splendid. Look at their armor. Look at the helmets. Glade Lord, check him out, you guys. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have fun with this. Look at these guys. Oh, they look so good. Look at that. Look at this. Yeah, this girl right there. She looks great. She looks real good. Right on. Keep something in mind, disclaimer, right here and now. If I didn't like this mod, I would tell you it sucked already. Yeah, I don't hold back. I'm not one of those mod guys who play mods and sit there and just say everything's hunky-dory when it's not. This is impressive. I really like this is bitching. If I thought it sucked, I'd tell you. I don't like the font. I'll switch the font. Nice, nice screens. Nice screens, guys. Nice. Right. Save our game. Bitch in. Right on. That war sword right there, that could be a little clearer. Outline that with something lighter so that the word war sword stands out. That conquest use a different font. Make the font match war sword word and conquest word. The font should be very similar. So there you go. Let's jump back in. Day one, Larn. Awesome. Who was Larn, guys? 
I'll fire up a video at the end of the of this broadcast. So guys, let's check it out. Let's look at our character. Yep, level one. Look at us. Oh, he looks kick ass. Let's check it out. All right, what do we got? Oh, come on, quarter staff. What are we gonna do with that? We're gonna use it for kindling. We got a 28 swing on that. It's two pounds right on, 95 speed. That's doable for level one. That's not bad. Our body armor is a 23, gore light armor, good deal. Excellent, man, check him out. I'm excited, this is cool. If I didn't like this, it wouldn't be on my YouTube channel, Murgor. So who is our Lord here? Let's check it out, let's check out the faction. The town of Great Horn looks rich and well maintained. You guys know the drill. You see the banner of Gorthor, the beast lord of beast men over the town gets the populace and is different to you. Check him out. Look at his badass armor. I didn't want to go in. I just want to see the info. Show me the info. View notes. Right on. Of beast men. So that's the faction of the beast men. Is ruled by Gorthor, the beast lord. Oh, the artwork looks just fantastic. This is the kind of stuff that I went to the Art Institute. This is the kind of stuff that I, I, I draw, I've drawn my whole life. And I'm really, I'm gonna be getting some art streams going. I've been saying that for a while, but I wish I had some help here. Help me get my art stream set up. If you're in the area, you're a streamer, you wanna help me out with a little physical mobility, hit me up. I'd appreciate the help. But uh, this artwork here, you guys, this is great. This is super. Right on. Check him out. Renown 1200. 11,000 wealth. He's the Lord of Great Horn. And so that's what we're at. We're at the capital city. Cool, cool, cool. Who are they at war with? And do we have Freelancer? They are at war with the Wood Elven Kingdom. Nice. Nice. The shield. Yeah, you can see my cursor. Cool. Yeah, look at that. Woodland King Orion. Look at that. Orion, right on. Look at that. Nice banner. Yeah, the armor is just super. Look at that, guys. Very cool. So what are we going to do? How much coin we got? 250 gold. Let's see if we can make some money. Let's see if we... Let's go talk to our Lord Gorthor, the Beast Lord. No, nope, we're going to do that right. We are going to take a walk around the streets. Let's take a look around this place. Let's hope we start outside the city. Awesome. Awesome. You guys, I'm freaking out. Look at this. Yes. Bitchin', 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 guys. This is super cool. Bloxy, thank you for the suggestion. Right on. See you on the live stream, brother. I'll thank you in person. Oh, you guys, this is so cool. Look at this. Oh, this is bitchin'. Fantasy and Warband. Fantasy and Warband, man. What an excellent freaking combination. Because the Warband gaming format is my favorite format. And I've been playing Warband since the week it came out. And, and you third person, first person, overland strategy diplomacy you guys know the drill if you play warband and if you haven't played warband pick up warband but don't play warband i want you to play the mods look at this you guys this is totally awesome hell yes yeah we'll be streaming this this is cool this is really awesome oh, i'm tickled ungor villager look at him look at him oh he's awesome look at him he is totally awesome this is the town of Great Horn, sir. Our town and the surrounding lands belong to Gorthor, the Beast Lord of Beastmen. We mostly produce bread, ale, wine, and leather work. Can you hear him? Can you hear him? Yep. Bitchin', look at this guy. Oh, these guys are kick ass. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Wow. Bitchin', bitchin', man. Oh, I got just the scene for this. Oh, just like the good old days. Look at just, it's just like Tonga Tigan up in old Norway. Look at this. All homey. Ah, we're right at home. 
war band, our pal war band, the official war band asked me last night on our live stream, Warlord, are you religious? Very, very religious. I'm surprised. All that stuff I talked about on the Viking Conquest streams, you didn't think I was making all that up now, did you? Look at this. Look at this. Oh, this is just super. Yep, this is what my front yard looks like here in Gettysburg. I mean, minus, you know, the bull people and the goat people and the sacrifices. Look at the bitch in runestone. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, this is this is just awesome. Super. Look at this. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, Warband. Bad ass. Look at this. So let's see if we can enlist in our Lord's army. If not, we're going to be doing petty quests and kicking around trying to build up some levels and some coin and some armies until we can eventually take something over. Yeah, this is like totally cool. This is really, this is tits. This is tits. This is good tits. Oh yeah, this is great. Look at that. Oh, look at that freaking war hog. Look at that. Oh, dude. I want one. Look at this. this is just kick ass. Oh, this is so neat. Oopsie. Zoinks. Hell. Interesting. Gortor the Beast Lord. Yeah, he is totally bitching. Look at this. Oh, that's so cool. Nice, guys. Yep. Stay tuned for, uh, if you guys like fantasy audiobooks, chill, relaxing, sleeping story times. Guys like good bedtime stories, some good high fantasy, and some awesome historical fiction, and a really cheer, chill, mellow environment. Tune into my live streams on Twitch around midnight East Coast time, USA. Yeah, we'll do something with the, with this with our uh, with our saga, saga hour. I'm gonna start doing saga hours late at night. Yep, the Chaos Emblem. The Chaos Emblem of Cthulhu at Lord Caius. Yep, totally cool. So let's meet our Lord, the Beast Lord. Do I know you? I am Larn, at your service, bull-looking man. I am Gotor the, Be Gotor, the Beast Lord, the ruler of beast men and the Lord of Great Horn. Ah, yes. We can enlist in the army. It has a uh, freelancer kick ass. I love any mod that has freelancer. Every mod should have freelancer. I don't know if anyone got freelancer and diplomacy working together up to date. I think right now you have to use the older version of freelancer with diplomacy. If you want to put that in your own stuff. So check it out, man. Looks good. So I don't know if we want to enlist in his army or not. We all know that the king usually just kicks it around his capital city and doesn't do much of much, right? So we also need to be thinking about marriage. Day one, right off the bat, thinking about marriage, thinking about those buddy points with the Lord who is the father of the apple of our eye that is related to most of the other lords so that we can become High Lord. And then Gorthor, what do you want with your oath to the Beast Lord? I will be the Beast Lord and you will swear an oath to us as Beast Lord. Warhoff. Kazrak One-Eye, so he's first on the list. I'm assuming that he's most often martial and has the highest renown, so we'll see. Because I want to enlist in the Lord and the Marshal's army because the Marshal's always active. So are there any daughters? There isn't. He's got a 2947 renown. 
this mod could be totally different. He's got a 4,000 renown. How about our king? He only has a 1,200 renown. I'm a little confused. This guy's got a 4,000 renown. The Beastman is ruled by Gorthor. He only has a 1,200 renown. That's strange. Zakar Halborn. Look at him. Look at the tongue. Holy shit. 2259, he is the Lord of New Moon. So, let's go ahead and enlist in the King's Army, see if we can get some action. We're supposed to be at war, I believe, with the Elves. Undead Pirate Kingdom. That sounds really bitchin'. Does, and the, the Lizard Men sounds really cool. Dwarves and Elves, I play them in other mods for Warband. So Empire of Sigmar, interesting. So cool. So interesting. Undead Pirate Kingdom. Let's check out their king. Grand Arch Commodore Luthor Harkon. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, these guys are killer. Look at this. Morgan Flint. Oh my gosh, look at these guys. Look at that, you guys. Oh, that's too cool. That is just too cool. Oh, we're going to have some trippy fun in here. Realm of Chaos. Warlord Archaon. Oh, he's insane. Holy shit. Look at this guy. Gate of Shadows. Oh, look at these guys. Holy hell. Holy shit. Look at this. This is insane. Look at the lizard men. Look at these guys. I forget what they used to be called. Back in D&D, &D, there was a name for the lizard men back in the 70s. I can't remember what they were called. It's just my memory, man. But uh, right on. Look at this. Oh, look at that. Oh, he is so cool. Look at this. Let's enlist in his army. I've got room in my ranks for a man of your disposition. Larn, 40 gold a week. Do you have, you'll have your take of what you can scavenge in battle. All right, let's see what he kicks us down. Nothing, it doesn't look like he gave us anything. Nope, he didn't give a shit, he gave us nothing. Battered plain cavalry shield. So we got an emblem. We're fighting for the Lord. Let's see if we can get rid of this ridiculous staff. We're not going to use it. Can we gank this sword? Doesn't look like it. So what's up, my Lord? Where are we going? Let's go to war. So we have a tavern, an arena, a marketplace. Just like the good old days. So I wonder if there's stuff out here, out and about. I don't know, probably not. I imagine it's just going into town, finding where to buy and purchase our stuff. Did we get any kind of signing bonus? Doesn't look like it. We got no signing bonus. The stick, I don't know what we're going to do with that staff. That staff's useless. We got our axe, that's what we're going to be using. Mounts. Tusk Gore. Razor Gore. I'm not going to be using that for nothing. Well, looks like we have a long way to go. So apparently there's a pub. Let's 
that's what I thought. Hopefully we can get out and get in a fight, right? So let's just uh, go to the tavern and we'll exit the tavern and see where the tavern is once we exit it. Check it out. Oh, are we going to get mugged? We might get mugged. We got all kinds of creepy creatures in here. Look at these guys. Holy hell, look at this guy's got a, a mouth in his stomach. I started drawing stuff like that when I was like in sixth grade. Right on. Check him out. Yep, we got he looks like a badass giant from Paris now. But these guys, holy shit, what a trip. Look at this guy. Oh, he is so cool. Mercenary Chaos Troll. Oh yeah, that's too too cool. What's this guy have to say, mercenary chaos troll? Herm Ward Bormbar, are you ready to fight? Me and one of my mates are ready to fight. Nope. Not hiring son. Bug, what's shaking, bug? Screech! Come again. Same old, same old. Lazarus, go figure. Awesome. Check him out. We already have a three relationship with him. No, no, no. Mercenary Chaos Hunt Leader. Look at her cool armor. Clack. So this must be the pub. Look at these cool people. Drags. So these must be our companions. Check him out. Can we squat? Can we squat? Nope, we can kick. I don't think we can squat. Let's check it out. Do you have a squatting option? And our controls. Did they add that? Now, the um, crouch, crouch is great. Cool beans, so that's that. Sell the pub, what else? Marketplace, what do we got? Arms, shields, look at that. 11,000 for that shield, a nice big heavy great ax. 52 chopping with an 84 speed, looks good. 109, looks good, requires strength of 11, four and a half pounds. Right on the money. Yeah, Pestigore Axe. Look at this. 47, 84, 125 pounds. Speed 84 at 5 pounds with the length of 120. Nice music. Heavy javelins, yards. Yeah, we have a ways to go. We got to save up some coin. Right. Pardon me. Cool beans. Yeah, we have a ways to go. We will earn our armor and we will earn our banner. I'd love to see completely different items in here. Items from this world rather than the warband world. Rename them. Remodel them. Retexture them. Rename them. Six items. Keep it trippy and magical. Awesome. Love the menus. Totally bitching. Interesting. Like I said, if I didn't like this, I wouldn't even have got this far. This is good. This is cool. Right on. So let's see if we can get into a fight. Let's go to the arena.
Let's see how we do. Get our level one ass kicked, right? What's our stats, right? Level one, 51, 51, two, 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 two. We're weak, 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 weak. Ah, looking pretty doggone tough though, huh? Yeah, look at that belt buckle. Let's kick ass. They call me Bruce. Prost. My legs feel like there's a house sitting on them. Poor warlord. You guys, listen. You don't have problems unless, unless your dog brings a stranger's finger home and leaves it in their dog dish. Then you have problems. in the head one shot boy one shot cool that was fun let's try again let's see if we can get a level dude what's with all the script errors come on man it's ruining my screen Freaking love it, the growls. Oh. Oh, this is a trap. Pretty tough. The dwarf hit me right in the nut sack. And the bull nut sack. Did you see that? He kicked my ass. <laughs> oh, that was fun. What did we get? Oh shit, we got 200 gold. That's the ticket. Right on, that's the ticket. Skaven Blight, Tor Anlak, Mount Vanier, Putrid, Putrid Stump. Putrid Stump. Wow, this is really neat. One more time, guys. Make a little bit of coin. Oh, they look killer. Look at them. The humans look out of place, don't they? Oh, fun, fun, fun. Oh, let's get a little coin. Heck, we got 200 coin from that. Oh, dude, the script errors. Come on. We have shield bash. No shield bash. Come on, get him, green guy. Oh, yes. Oh. Oh, got our booties kicked. Oh, that was fun. That's fun. That's a really small t little tournament area, but that's the world. Check it out. So neat. Oh. 
Fine. How much coin did we got? Nothing. We got no coin. We that cannot be. Got me, I'm almost dead. I love it, I love the sounds, the sounds are great. Someone's gonna come right up behind me, huh? He got me. Look at him, he looks awesome. Holy shit, these guys are really cool. What a trip. What a total trip. And we got magic in this? That's cool. That's really cool. Your performance was amazing. We got another 200 gold. You are without a doubt a very skilled bullhorned sword swinger. 11 people. Shit, that's pretty good for my first try. Cool. I'd like to learn some new combat skills. We'll wait on that. Let's go see if we can get into a battle with our, our lord, our king. How much dough do we earn? Oh, 712 coins. Still not enough to get a decent axe. Beast Man War Glaive, 2,000. What do we got enough money for? Not much, do we? 712. Chipped Beast Man War Sword, 3,197. 97, 96 out of 31. 28, 95, 85. Ain't that much different, is it? <coughs> Two-handed war axe, it's 47, that'd come in handy. That glaive, it's just a pole arm. We don't need a shield, I'm not gonna worry about it. It's a 134, 414. Two-handed axe, that 984. So that's a decent way to get a little bit of gear. Just, we got a pretty decent payout <coughs> for that tournament. We could get a little bit of extra gear. Beast Man War Hand Axe. That looks like that's the ticket. It's a little slow. Yeah, it's a little slow. I like a 95 speed, but that's only a 28. It's an 85 reach. It's a 100 reach, and it's one-handed. But it's a little slow. But the damage is 35. It's 2.5 pounds. 2 pounds. It's lighter. It's only a 28, though. That sucks. So what are we going to do? 35, 93, 93, 92, 180... That's a kick-ass hand axe right there. It's a little faster, too. The weapon reach sucks. The weapon reach on that's great. On that, that's 85. That's even shorter. That's no good. 96, that's perfect, but it's a 31. That's the ticket right there for now. 31. 35, 92. It's slow, but it's long. That's fast and it's long. So boom, boom. Thank you. Rock and roll. 670. Howdy doody do. Cool beans. Yes. Freaking big ass war blade. Holy shit. Yeah, it up for an axe, but that'll work. Cool beans. So let's see if we can go, if our king is going to go forth and go to battle. Check them out. Karakhern is the wealthiest town, so boy, we could hit some caravans there, couldn't we? So we are a pretty wealthy town. So we are in the top 10 for wealth in the world.
So let's hope we see some action. I love it. This is really cool. This mod will not work properly without using Warband Script Extender. Please reload the mod using the WSE loader in the WSE folder. Okay. Auto Loot, Diplomacy, War Sword, Conquest settings. Let's check them out. Auto Loot. That's weird. Cheat's the first thing. Auto Loot disabled. Large battles. Wait time multiplier is three. That's good. Sometimes I put it on two. Horse speed, yes. Cool. Looks good. Permanent camp. Second action menu. Lots of stuff to do in here. Interesting. Burst buzz menu. Damage modifiers, turn off new music, war modes. Cool. Locate special people. War modes, I would imagine that's um, all out war or static wars or interesting. Some very interesting things there to uh, take a look at. PBOD, Lancer Fix, Battle Size, Pole Arm, Damage Tweaks, Infantry, Infantry. You guys have seen this. If you've never played this, if you've never played most Warband mods, if there are some people that come to my YouTube channel and they don't play Warband, but they've seen this and they want to play. And if you do pick it up, make sure you go through that camp menu in your mods set all your settings allow AI to use special orders back continue after charge charge all formations AI special orders cool yep battle continuation I'll leave that alone. Label uh, enabled, Lords Returning Exile enabled, Autocock Battles, right on. So some of these settings are shared with other options in the mod. Cool. Looks good. But I have to refire the mod with script enabler, so that's what we will do. And I am at an hour, and so I'm wondering if we are going to Commander's Report get into a fight we are our current rank is on gore flute flugzeit flugzeit air ghost next pay a promotion day flugzeit floating spirit day the 23rd all right, cool. So we will have to reload this with WSE, and that's what we will do. Let's see if we are going to get into a fight. Let my commander provide me with equipment. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so it's just going to take us back into town. There's other mods like that where you won't talk. It puts you, you go into the town instead of talking with the Lord. So let's see what he does. This mod will not work properly. Yeah, so I need to reload the mod. And we'll do that. Let's see if we get into a fight. Yeah, it's kicking me out. 
So that's what we'll do. We'll reload it with WSE, but I'm sitting at an hour. And so stay tuned for the next episode, my friends. We're going to have fun with this one. War Sword Conquest and Bloxy. Again, shout outs to Blox. Thanks for the uh, suggestion. Blox wanted me to play this, so here we are. And that was fun. Just a quick look if you played this before. It's old hat. It's new hat to me. I've never looked at this before, and it looks kick-ass. So stay tuned, guys. We'll do another episode here in the next couple of days. I'm going to load it back up with WSE. So cool beans. Thanks for tuning in, y'all. Warlord over and out. Multiple sclerosis is a disease that impacts the brain and spinal cord which make up the central nervous system that controls everything we do, whether it's taking a physical step or solving a complex problem. The exact cause of MS is unknown, but we do know that something triggers the immune system to attack the brain and spinal cord. The resulting damage to myelin that insulates wire-like nerve fibers is a disruption of signals to and from the brain. This interruption of communication signals causes unpredictable symptoms such as numbness, tingling, mood changes, memory problems, pain, fatigue, blindness, or paralysis. Everyone's experience with MS is different, and these losses may be temporary or long-lasting. Most people initially have relapsing remitting MS where they experience attacks of new symptoms followed by periods of time when those symptoms go away partially or completely. Others experience gradual and ongoing loss of function without distinct attacks, which is known as progressive MS. MS can be difficult to diagnose, but once a diagnosis is confirmed by a neurologist who is knowledgeable about MS, there are disease-modifying therapies for reducing attacks and slowing down the damage. Growing evidence suggests that early and ongoing treatment with a disease-modifying therapy is an important defense against future attacks. There are also treatment strategies to address some MS symptoms. Options are still limited for slowing down or stopping progressive MS. Worldwide research is accelerating the discovery of how to slow down or even stop progressive MS, how to repair nervous system damage and restore function, wellness strategies such as exercise and diet that can help people with MS to live their best lives, and the exact cause of MS so that it may be prevented for future generations. To learn more about multiple sclerosis, connect with others to drive research for a cure, and to address the challenges of everyone affected by MS, visit nationalmssociety.org or call 1-800-344-4867.